Hi there. In this video, we'll be talking about object styles in InDesign. Object styles is used to quickly format graphics and frames. It includes settings for stroke, color, transparency, drop shadows, paragraphs, styles, text wrap, and more. I'll be demonstrating formatting of two different settings using object styles, so let's get started. I already have text ready for you, so let's bring the object styles panel. To do that, you've got to go to Window and then Styles and select Object Styles. Now let's place an image to our document. So go to File and then Place and locate the image from the computer and hit Open. Click anywhere on the document to place the image. Since our image is too large, let's zoom out and holding Shift and Command on a Mac or Shift and Control on a PC, Click and drag the bottom right anchor point inward to make your image smaller. Now let's zoom in. I'll have to further shorten the image to about this size and then place it in the center of the document. Since it's an image and it's considered an object as well, we'll have to create an object style based on the dimensions of this image. So with the image selected, click the small plus button at the bottom of the object styles panel. Click the new style and rename it image. Now double click it and on the left side of the panel, scroll to reach the size and position options. Click it and from the size adjust option, select height and width. What you see right below this is the dimensions of our image. Let's look for frame fitting options on the left and click it. From the fitting drop down menu, select fit content to frame option and then hit OK. It's time to move to page two and then go to file and then place and locate the image from the computer and hit open. Click anywhere on the screen to place the image and obviously the image is too large to fit into our document, but don't worry, our object style is gonna take care of that. So with the image still selected, click the image object style we created and the image will shrink in a jiffy. Let's center align our image and then head back to the first page. I'm sure by now you've realized that both of our images are on top of the text and we need to change that. So click the first image once again and hit the small plus button at the bottom of the object styles panel to create another style. Click the new style to rename it text wrap. Double click it and look for text wrap and other option on the left. Click it once and you shall find the text wrapping options right before you. Click the wrap around bounding box option, which is the second one from the left. And the moment it's clicked, the text hidden under the image rolls itself around it, but it's touching the borders of the image. So to fix that, let's add some offset to it. I think P6 should solve our problem and then hit OK. Let's move on to the second image. And you know what to do now. Just select the image and click the text wrap object style and it shall obey your command almost instantly. So you see object styles, much like any other styles of InDesign is a powerful tool and is mostly used when your document has any sort of repetitiveness to it, be it text, shapes or images. You could see it has a plethora of attributes that can be easily customized to enhance your workflow. So do try some more from here. All right, guys, that concludes our session. So it's time for a short break and I shall see you in a bit. Goodbye.